Nixie, thanks for joining us for another SNFL report. Round 21, not long to go until finals hit. And Daniel Stewart, once again, is showing some terrific form at local level. Yeah, he was a standout again on the weekend. Um, playing against Sturt there at Unley, it was a uh, fantastic atmosphere. And, and he stood up again, um, really, really strong in, uh, in the offensive side of his game. So taking big marks, kick six goals again. Um, you know, so for him, it's a real positive that he's, he's going back to SNFL level and performing at, at, at a, I guess, you know, an, at a level we're looking for. Um, we are asking him for a lot more effort from his defensive part of his game, and he knows that. So going forward, I think over this off season, he'll have a really big, um, you know, few sessions over the off season that we'll put into that, as well as try and come back super fit, ready for next year. Yeah, it must be terrific for his confidence, though, to have the amount of goals that he's kicking at local level. Obviously, translating that to AFL is difficult, particularly given our forward structure revolving around. Butcher, who's now in, now that uh, Chad's retired, and Jay Schultz and Justin Westhoff. Where does Daniel Stewart fit? Oh, look, he fits in, in into the mix. I mean, he plays as a hybrid, very much uh, a forward ruckman, and that's the position we're trying trying to develop to develop him into. Um, he knows he's got some areas to work on. If you look at Butcher, who's come in the last uh, you know, few weeks, his defensive side or his what some people might call, call scrapping, um, you know, when the ball hits the ground, is exceptional, um, and he's being rated on that. Um, Daniel's got a lot of work in that area that he needs to do, and he knows that. So it's um, it's something that we'll keep working on with him, um, and it's it's amazing. Some people would think, oh, that's the easiest part to work on, but it's not. You know, he's uh, he's got that natural skill and talent as far as marking overhead. Um, you know, running. Fantastic routes as a forward. Uh, we just need to now get that the one percent part of his game up and going. It's getting to a point in the season uh, where players are falling like flies to some extent. Yeah. Fortunately, young bodies do heal quickly. Can we expect to see some people coming back in the next few weeks, or is it very much a case of resting the youngsters from this point on? Oh no, we've got a, a couple that are coming back. Callum Hayes coming back for, for North Adelaide, so he'll have a run around there, which is good. He's been out for. A, for an extended period of time. Um, a lot of the other younger guys, I mean, you've still got a lot of guys running around. Uh, Cam O'Shea, you would have seen, came back uh, last week. You know, so to get him back out there running again, hopefully he can finish with a real positive note against Melbourne this weekend. Um, I'm giving you a bit of inside information there. That's the, he's, he'll, he'll play again this week. Um, but another, uh, you know, there are a number of other guys that are, that are getting sore. It's a long, long season, um, and, it, and it's been a tough season for us. I mean, we've, we've had a disappointing year, as, as you know, results-wise. So, um, look, we'll get a number of guys. Hopefully, that'll that'll be fresh coming back. As I said, with Cow and these sort of kids, but there are some that are missing at the moment. And the list is uh, is getting longer in that injury uh, part, so it's a bit disappointing. Nixie, thanks for your time. My pleasure. Third term, Stewart gets the punch down and rows it himself. He just bundles it deep in towards the attacking zone. Yeah, and... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it, it, it's, it's so costly, isn't it, when you just step uh, a couple of strides over the mark. Ivan's just kicked Stewart. Gee, he's been good. Daniel Stewart just marking everything that comes near him. 65 from goal, much improved player. Beautiful kick inside 50. That was lace out. His kicking's improved too, Stewart. And marking down there, Delvin's tough kick from the pocket. Briswick, the lead-up player. Marks on the second Rizwick. grab. Yeah, one of the quickest in the comp. Good kick too. Tealy's got it just outside his range, 50 out. Looks to play it on quickly. Kick towards the goal square. Stewart's there again. This man is just <laughs> marking anything that comes near him. And he can go from back will here under pressure to get the roosters rocking and rolling again Brilliant. for this shot on goal. I mean, he, 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 we cannot go with a handball, and all of a sudden he decided to kick it and hit a target. And now Stewart from virtually point-blank range. Comes in now, does Stewart, 30 metres out. He's made the goal umpire work, but he's kicked his fifth, and he is playing one of the best games from a power forward I've seen in some time, Dan Stewart. Insisted that it was to Mays. Bennett takes it out half-forward, spears a pass in. Who do you reckon? Mm. Dan Stewart. What happened there, though, guys? Has yeah. everyone written the other way? Yeah, no, that, the umpire should have uh, brought the player back. And, and Mark from his oh, brother, oh, Marks, for the double blues on the rebound. are very effective. They've copped it straight up. They're making Jimmy Allen's job easier, Kim Morgan, to get possessions. They've given it straight to him, and now he gives it to Dan Stewart. It's half back. Dan Stewart, two of their, probably their two best players, Allen to Stewart. Allen's last quarter has been phenomenal as uh, Stewart comes wide for Bennett. He marked on centre wing. Oh. 20. <laughs>
Association sponsor. The odds with Dan Stewart. Stewart has a flying shot at the goals. Oh, they couldn't nail their set shots, but they can.